Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Falador task system. In this video, we'll be focusing on the easy tasks. Now, before we get going through these tasks themselves, we're going to go over a few things which are the requirements and items needed to complete all of the tasks. So first of all, for requirements, there are no quest requirements, so that's good. Uh, and as for skill requirements, you need level 25 defense and level 16 construction. So for the items, you'll need 1,650 coins total, um, a spade and a tinder box, both which on the tool belt will work, um, a piece of cheese and a bucket, uh, range or magic equipment uh, to be able to kill a level 1 duck, um, because there's no duck on land, so you'll need to use a long range weapon, hence magic or ranged. Um, you'll need a mind talisman uh, and a tiara. Uh, runes for casting an elemental spell. It can be any one and it can be any strength whether it is uh, bolt or blast or wave um, but obviously bring the sufficient runes in order to cast that spell. Uh, and also you'll need a magical weapon for casting that elemental spell so you'll need a wand or a staff of some form. So that's it for the requirements and items, now on to the tasks themselves. So first of all, these tasks can be done in any particular order, you don't have to follow my exact order. Uh, the only reason I've done them in this way is it's the quickest way of going about completing them as one set. The other thing to consider is you may have already completed some of these tasks um, by doing your general sort of adventures across RuneScape. Um, so obviously if it doesn't come up with a little pop-up window to say you've completed a task, it may be because you've already done it. So what I would recommend is seeing which task you've already completed and to do that you want to go to the achievements uh, section which is by clicking the heroes tab which is the helmet with the horns icon go over to achievements and on the drop down menu select Falador tasks and any tasks that have a gold tick next to them you've already completed and therefore will not have to worry about completing again so enough about that, now onto the actual task. So we're currently at the Falador Lodestone, um, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network, and this will be our starting point. Uh, and the first task we're going to complete is called Chin Chomper Powered, and that is to feed uh, Ridgely, the hairdresser's pet. So we're going to go ahead over into the hairdresser's store, which is in the northwest corner of Falador, so literally south uh, west of where we are now. Um, as you head in, you'll see the little chin chomper on the running machine or running wheel, whatever you want to call it. And all you need to do is right click and make sure you do right click in case you eat it. Your piece of cheese, use it on the pet and he'll eat it and then it'll come up with the task being complete. The next task is called It's Not Wabbit Season and that is to kill a duck in the Falador Park. So the Falador Park is pretty much just opposite where the hairdressers is and that's what you're going to use your uh, long range weapon for whether that is ranged or uh, magic. And you'll see the ducks in the pond, literally all you need to do is kill one of them which you should do in one hit and once that's done the task will be complete. The next task is called Sniffing Out the Mole, and that is to enter the mole's lair under Falador Park. So with the recent update, you used to have to use a spade to dig um, access to the uh, mole's lair, but now you should just see it with all these like flowers or roots, whatever you want to call them, coming out of the ground. So all you need to do is enter the mole's lair. Uh, you don't actually have to go and fight the mole, so don't worry about that. Uh, and literally, once you're in the lair, it'll come up with the task being complete, and then you can come back out. The next task is called The Good Stuff, and that is to buy a stat-boosting beer from a waitress in the Rising Sun Tavern. Uh, so the Rising Sun Tavern is just near uh, the Western Falador Bank, and just near where the hairdressers was. Um, and then all you need to do is speak to the bartender and ask for one of the following three uh, ales, which will be Asgardian Ale, Wizard's Mind Bomb, or Dwarven Stout. Um, any one of those, and then once you've successfully bought that, the task will be completed. So the next task we're going to complete is called Submit, and that's to climb to the top of the White Knight's Castle. So pretty self-explanatory, so we're going to head to the White Knight's Castle by going across the bridge. Um, and then if you go through the western doors and keep climbing up all the staircases uh, until you reach the very top where there's a farming patch, that is the highest point um, of the White Knight's Castle, and then the task will be completed. The next task is called Family Values, and that's to discover your family crest from Sir Renity, who is found in the White Knight Castle. Um, he's pretty much on the opposite side of where you are currently, um, just down uh, a level on the floors. Um, so we're going to head over in that direction now, just to obviously watch where I'm going. And then when you reach him, speak to him, and it should come up with an option saying about finding out your family crest, and it'll tell you what your family crest is, um, and then it also gives you the option to change it. Now, what might be handy um, 
while you're here and obviously if you have the relevant requirements one of the Falador hard tasks is to change your family crest to the Saradomen symbol but you need to level 70 prior in order to do that so if you have got 70 prior while you're here you might as well do that just to tick off one of those so you don't have to worry about that uh, a little bit later on but either way once you've discovered your family crest the task will be complete so the next task is called fill your bucket and that's to fill a bucket from the pump north of the West Falador bank so you'll find the pump uh, between the hairdresser and the mace store um, so we're going to head back down to the ground level and head over in that direction and then once you uh, reach near the pump all you need to do is use your bucket on the pump and fill it with water and then the task will be completed the next task is called going along with the fro and that's to talk to party p in party pete's falador party room um which is in the sort of northeast corner of falador it's a pretty big building you won't miss it got a lot of uh, checkered tiles on the floor and then literally all you need to do is head over that direction and just talk to party p and then after going through some dialogue with him the task will be completed so the next task is called Mud Skip the Light Fantastic and that's to recharge your prior points at the altar southwest of Port Serim which is near Mud Skipper's Point. So the quickest way to get to this direction is to teleport to the Port Serim Lodestone via the Lodestone network. And once you arrive just keep heading south until you see where the altar is, literally go inside and click to recharge your prior points. It doesn't matter if they're full as long as you attempt to do so and once you've done that the task will be complete. So the next task is called Elementary Medicine and that is to heal an elemental wizard by casting an appropriate elemental spell on him and that will be either air, water, earth or fire. Um, now what you need to do is head to where the elemental wizards are who hang around sort of the shops to the northern part of Port Serim. So either walk back or teleport back to the Lodestone, whatever's quicker. And then keep heading in the northern direction till you see some of the elemental wizards. Now obviously depending on the runes you brought um, will depend on obviously what wizards you're going to go for. So if you've brought runes to use fire spells spells you're going to want to uh, cast a fire spell on the fire wizards and so on um, however I think you need to actually do some damage on them before you then attempt to heal them otherwise the task won't be complete um, so literally all you need to do is even if you unequip your weapons just to do uh, some punches on them until you do like even one damage and then um, select to cast a relevant spell on that wizard um, the spell will heal him and then literally just get yourself out of combat by running out of the area or something and then once you've done that it should come up with a little pop-up saying the task is complete. The next task is called Stand and Deliver and that's to kill a highwayman on the road south of Falador near the farmhouse. Um, so literally it's kind of in between where we are now and where the farmhouse is. So keep heading in that direction and eventually you should see one patrolling along that road and then all you need to do is kill them and then once you've done that task will be complete. The next task is called Amulet of Weed Speak, and that is to buy a farming amulet from Sarah on the farm north of Port Serim. So you're just near the um, farm now, obviously if you've just completed the highwayman task. So all you need to do is walk into the farm, speak with Sarah to trade, and then she should have some farming amulets available to sell. Buy one of them, and once you've done that, the task will be complete. The next task is called Chain Store and that is to buy a black chain body from Wayne's Chains and then try it on in the shop. So Wayne's Chains is located near the southern wall of Falador so that's why I kind of um, didn't worry about putting that with the other Falador tasks because we're closer to that where we are now. Um, so literally head in the direction of Falador and then when you pass the sort of main entrance into the walls turn west and keep heading round till you see the chain shop and then go in there and buy a black chain body for 1440 coins and then make a sure you're inside the shop equip it and once you've done that the task will be complete the next task is called making my mind up and that is to make a mind tiara so we need to head to the mind altar so that is located uh sort of next to goblin village and uh in the middle of where um the dwarven uh, mountain is whatever you want to call it uh, i've got it marked on the mini map now what you need to do is either walk over to where the altar is and then with the uh, talisman in your inventory you'll be able to gain access alternatively if you have a wicked hood with a mind uh talisman imbued into it you do have the option to teleport to the um, rune crafting altars so you can choose to do that if it makes it quicker but either way head to the mind altar and I'll speak to you in a moment once you arrive uh, what you need to do is use your blank tiara on the mind altar and then with the uh, mind talisman in your inventory and then it should combine the two together making a mind tiara and the task will be complete the next task is called like a boss and that's to kill a boss goblin in the goblin village so uh, goblin village is just sort of to the west of where we are now um, so exit the altar and head in that direction and then uh, once you're in the goblin village I'll explain what you need to do 
So what you need to do to get a boss goblin to come after you is to kill 15 regular goblins in the goblin village, which is pretty easy. They're all very low level, so that should only take you a couple of minutes. Once you've done that, a boss goblin will then appear, and then what you need to do is kill the boss goblin, which again won't take very long uh, to complete that task. And then the final task um, is called Disarm and Embark, and that is to take the boat to Entrana. Now the reason I've left this one last is for two reasons. A, um, you need to have no armor, weapons, or any other items really uh, on your person to be able to go to Entrana. So obviously if we did that earlier on, you'd have to go back to the bank and get more of them. Uh, the other reason is it, this should hopefully be your last task, and it's quite near the person you need to speak to to get your rewards. So that's kind of why I've left it till now, if you're wondering. So what we need to do is head back to Port Sarim via the Port Sarim Lodestone and then the uh, dock that takes you to Entrana sort of is the northern part uh, and there's a bank deposit box near where the monks are so literally put everything in the uh, bank deposit boxes you're not going to need anything if this is your last task uh, make sure you've got enough and equipped and then once you've done that choose to take the boat to Entrana and bearing in mind you haven't got anything on you that you shouldn't you'll be uh, arrived on the island and then once you step off the docks the task will be completed and if that was your last one it should come up with a little message saying congratulations you've completed all the tasks and speak to the relevant person. Um, so the person we need to speak to is back in uh, Port Serim so you can just take the boat uh, from Entrana straight back to Port Serim. Now for any reason it didn't come up with that pop-up message, it'll be either one or two reasons. The first one is you might have typed through or clicked through the chat box too quick and not seen the message pop up, or it could be you haven't actually completed all the tasks properly, so one of them you might have made a mistake on. So all I'd recommend is if it hasn't come up with that message is to load up the tasks and just double check they all have a gold tick next to them, and any that don't, obviously go about completing them again. There may be something you didn't do quite right, um, but hopefully that's not the case. But either way, once you arrive back on the uh, Port Serim docks, we need to go speak to uh, Redbeard Frank, uh, who can literally be found uh, right near where the Entrana um, port is, and speak to him to obtain the easy rewards. So once you've finished speaking to Redbeard Frank, he'll give you the rewards and will congratulate you. So well done guys, you've now completed all the Falador easy tasks, so you'd have been given an 1000 experience lamp, which can be used on a skill of your choice for level 30 or over, and you'll be given the Falador shield one which has the following benefits. So it'll have the ability to use a new emote by operating the shield when worn, and then once per day you can restore up to 25% of your prayer points. So there we go, that's all the easy Falador tasks completed. So not really any difficult ones, there's quite a few to complete, but generally the sort of lower ones are more sort of tedious tasks rather than hard tasks. Uh, and obviously the main reward of this is to get the Falador Shield 1, uh, which will obviously start getting more and more uh, more benefits uh, as you start completing the medium tasks and the hard tasks and eventually the elite tasks. On that note, once I have made guides for the medium and hard tasks, they can be accessed in the video description below. So if you're ready to do those, obviously check them out and click the link and I'll talk you through how to complete those ones. But overall, I don't think you'll run into any problems following this guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.